In this tutorial, I will cover basic HTML concepts um, in order for you to uh, start with uh, web development. So, what is HTML? HTML is basically a uh, text file which has some formatting instructions for the browser, which uh, lets you view things in a document uh, like format, basically. Um, whereas it's basically just a simple text file. The bare minimum that you need to create a, an HTML document is just create a text file anywhere on your computer and call it uh, test with the .html extension and say yes and edit it with notepad and then type some text in here. Save it. So now if I double click on this, it will show it to me in the browser. And this is a perfectly valid HTML document. It doesn't have much uh, uh, styling in there, but it's a valid HTML document. Now, notice that in the address uh, location bar, I have the um, path on my hard drive to this document instead of what you normally see, uh, which is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash some domain dot com forward slash something dot html well that's because we haven't really uploaded this document to any web server in order for everyone to be able to see this html document it has to reside on a web server so in order for us to put this on a web server I had previously installed uh, uh, the Apache web server in a different video to my hard drive to see XAMPP and this HT documents folder is where all my web pages are going to uh, be rendered from locally so if I just copy this file and paste it here Now, if I bring up my browser, and I type in here HTTP localhost test.html, which is the name of my file here. So if I hit enter, assuming that my web server is running, I will get my HTML document. And that's basically the same thing as rendering it locally. There's not a whole lot of difference except that if this was an actual domain, everyone on the internet would then be able to see this document as well. So that's the basic concept of HTML. Uh, it's pretty much that. So let's add some basic formatting to this document. Uh, let's say we want to have this appear with bold font. Well, we use uh, what's called HTML tags. And every HTML has a beginning and an end. So if I put this tag here, which is open bracket B close bracket surround the text that I want to show in bold by uh, with the B and slash B that basically indicates that we want to make this text bold now notice that the beginning and end is pretty much identical except for the fact that there's a forward slash here right before the B in my tag. 
So if I save this now and go to it uh, through my browser again, notice now that this has been changed to bold. That's because we put a bold tag around it. Now suppose I had a much longer text and I'm just gonna copy and paste this thing over and over just because I don't have uh, any uh, uh, basically I just want to make things a little bit quicker here so uh, so let's say this is a much much longer text if I save it and refresh my browser notice that my text wraps around to the width of the browser so if I minimize this thing so does my text now suppose we had two paragraphs here and in the text document I have uh, two paragraphs that I am splitting up and this is how I've saved it so you would expect that I get two paragraphs in the browser but if I refresh the browser you'll see that's not the case the reason for that is the web browser ignores every carriage return and blank line or any space more than one character it will ignore so if I had a whole bunch of space in here notice how much space I've got here and I save my document and I come over here notice there's no space that's because the browser ignores it so in order for me to get any kind of formatting I will surround this text with what's called a paragraph tag indicated by a P in a bracket and I'll do that with both my paragraphs this indicates that here is the start of my paragraph and that's the end of it so now if I refresh my browser we have two paragraphs so HTML is basically nothing more than a set of formatting instructions for the browser to render text in a specific format and there's different types of HTML we already um, I already demonstrated the bold HTML tag where if you want to bold the text you surround it with a B and a slash B and you have the paragraph tag so that's that's a pretty good start <laughs> now um, there's obviously a lot more tags that you will pretty much memorize over time any good programmer that programs in any uh, programming language um, be it PHP, ASP.NET, Java, or uh, JSP, um, Ruby, Perl, I mean whatever programming language you use at the core if if it's rendered for web you will output you will generate HTML dynamically so it's important for you to understand the basic concepts of HTML